In today's video, we're going to be cooking the Enoki Doki Burger from Season 4, Episode 15 of Bob's Burgers titled, The Kids Rob a Train. I'm Rick. I love Italian wines, German cars, and Japanese women. I'm Linda. I love showers and mornings and bologna and turtles and wine. I'm Bob. The Enoki Doki Burger, named after the unusual mushrooms that we're going to be using in this recipe. You might have seen this before on the internet or in your grocery store and wondered, what are these alien looking mushrooms? Well, here they are. These little guys are well known for their use in Japanese cuisine, and when cooked, they become very noodle-like. Definitely an unusual ingredient, it's not going to be available to every grocery store. I actually had to travel to different grocery stores in my area to find them. I ended up finding these at Whole Foods, and surprisingly they're not expensive. I think there's like $2.50 or something, but they are a little bit rare. But the burger is actually going to be really simple. Let's get all the ingredients out real fast, and then we can, uh, you know, then we can get started on this delicious looking burger. Next thing you're going to be telling me to go put on underwear. Let's roll. Bay spinach, mashed steak carrots, so crisp. Our enoki mushrooms. Fresh ginger root, which will be annoying. Classic soy sauce. A sake of your choice, I just winged it. Good quality ground beef. And some fresh buns. So not too bad, right? So let's get started by prepping our ginger and our mushrooms, and then we can introduce them to a hot pan. Just like a lot of mushrooms, these enoki are going to be a little dirty. So I'm going to slice off the ends and throw them in the trash. Let's be honest, they would do the same if given the chance. <laughs> Back at it, these look questionable, but trust me, we are onto something great. So now for the most annoying part of the entire process, which is going to be peeling this ginger so that we can mince it up. It's not glamorous, it's not fun, but ginger adds a lot and I love the fresh stuff. Don't let me fool you though. I was regarded as the most dangerous man with a peeler at the world peeling competition in Germany and I still got it, baby. Even more dangerous than that. Like eating a bomb? B in between. Like eating a firecracker. Yeah. What do you think your favorite ingredient is to mince up? I feel like for a lot of people, they would go with garlic, which is fair, but I think there are some sleeper ingredients out there. I pride myself on asking the hard hitting questions on this channel. The mushrooms and the ginger are prepared, so let's heat up some oil and then we get started on the cooking process. Over to the stove top we go to heat up some oil for cooking. You know that I'm all about that peanut oil swag. I would die for it. Oh, they're in love. Oh, my face. It's time to do some elite cooking. Add in your carrots and ginger to the oil and let them all get to know each other. At first it's going to be a little awkward, but before you know it, they'll become best friends like the show Robin Big. Mix everything around and let the ingredients soften up as they release moisture. When the time is right, we can add in our soy sauce to enhance everything with that salty, umami goodness. Then throw in some sake. Hey, hi, are you some kind of an expert? Sake is great, and whatever you don't use, you can drink yourself. Well, I don't want to drink with that guy. Why, I do, Bobby. He's an expert. With the flavors flowing, you can finally add in the star of the show. Like I said earlier on in the episode, when the mushrooms begin to cook, they take on a noodle-like form. They get very soft, which is what we were hoping for. I assume you can overcook them, but as long as you check the texture every once in a while, you should be fine. If not, I guess you can always blame me. Woo! It is smelling wonderful. The logical next step in our process is to prepare our patty. It's me time. Let's get that patty formed up and seasoned like you were born to do it. Look at that execution, that form. Rolling it around like this is the perfect solution to being lazy as well. So true, so wise, you should teach a class, bye! Would you look at that, a well-seasoned ball of meat. It's beautiful, smart, and independent. Let's do what we do best on this channel. Cook up a delicious patty. By pressing the meat down early on, you're able to help get a nice sear on the beef without losing any of the fat content. Let's chill out and let's watch the cooking process unfold. That looks perfect to me. What do you think? 
Blink twice if you agree. The last step is to toast up our buns. I like them a little crispy and golden brown. All right, let's build this burger. Yeah, you gorgeous idiot. Start with the bottom bun, then a good bit of baby spinach, throw down our juicy patty, top it with our enoki mushroom blend, and complete it with the top bun. In my less than professional opinion, this looks amazing. It smells great and I'm excited to take a big bite and tell you how it tastes. I'm hoping for a unique experience I've never had before. Mm. Wow, the burger book has done it again. This is amazing. I wanna put my head in it and my feet. Such a unique flavor. The textures and everything about this burger is just so crisp and so tasty. And the mushrooms themselves have a very mild but unique flavor. It's almost like a stir fry burger. It's just honestly wonderful. So I'm gonna review it like I normally would. I'm going to give this one almost a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go with a 9.8. 8.5 out of 10. Just the creativity and the overall flavor profile, it deserves this high score. Thanks for feasting with me today, and please subscribe if you liked what you saw.